Hello everyone. Elon Musk's $55 billion Tesla Pay deal was thrown out by a judge. We now want to talk to Ed Ludo, co-host of Bloomberg Technology in San Francisco. Ed, what else can you tell us? Well, to start, Tesla's shares are down more than 2% on the secondary market. What shareholders alleged in their suit is that Tesla's board and its directors did not act with impartiality when setting the $55 billion of compensation, which is an historic record for any compensation package for a publicly traded CEO. And the judge in this case, Kathleen Stude McCormick, is agreeing with that in the sense that investors had to go hunting to clarify whether or not there were conflicts of interest in the apportioning of that, that reward. And as you can see, the market paying attention when Musk took to the stand to basically defend his position in that compensation. He said, well, I had nothing to do with it. I don't set my own pay. So how could there be any leverage that the board would put over me or me over the board, which is what the, the conflict of interest in question of the concern was about a judge's gav has struck sending shockwaves through the Tesla universe. It's a decision that's left investors puzzled, experts intrigued, and Elon Musk on the edge of the seat. What could this mean for Tesla's future today? We unravel the enigma surrounding Elon Musk's colossal $55 billion 2018 compensation plan. This exciting turn of events has already caused Tesla's stock to drop. Shareholders were angry and said the board was favoring one person over another. The judge's decision adds another layer of mystery to the saga, but that's not all. We'll also look into the chance of Tesla changing its state of incorporation, a move that could change the way the company fights lawsuits, and we'll get into the important question of who should have the last word. If you are a shareholder or judge, you can join us on this exciting discovery trip. Don't forget to click like and subscribe on Tesla Stock News to keep up with this exciting story. Your help drives our quest. To find answers, let's begin. Some people say that the judge is either not competent or dishonest because he or she messed up Elon Musk's $55 billion pay plan for 2018. Let's look at the facts. Elon Musk's stock is going down more than 2%. After this shocking decision, angry shareholders began to blame Tesla's board and directors, saying they showed favoritism by giving Elon Musk an incredible $555 billion pay package. This huge reward caused a lot of controversy in the Tesla community and in the investment world as a whole. Shareholders said the board's decision wasn't fair and they thought there might have been deals going on behind the scenes and that the distribution of such a huge pay package wasn't clear. The judge who was in charge of the case, Kathleen Street, Jude McCormack, thought these claims were true, which added intrigue to a story that was already very complicated. And guess what? The judge agreed. Kathleen Street, Jude McCormack, agrees with that point of view. She says that buyers had to do some research to find possible conflicts of interest in the way this huge reward was given out. But now things get interesting. Musk defended his position by saying that he had nothing to do with setting his own pay. He said that there couldn't be any conflict of interest between him and the board, which is what was being questioned. What really caught our attention, though, is the fact that back in 2018, Tesla's shareholders overwhelmingly approved of this compensation plan. These are the people who own Tesla stock and have a vested interest in the outcome. They strongly believe that this compensation package was in their best interests. Elon Musk's 2018 compensation plan wasn't just a formality. It included mandatory market capitalization milestones. This meant that Musk could only get paid if he greatly increased Tesla's market value, which he did in spades, much to everyone's surprise. Tesla's stock went through the roof, rising more than 10 times and reaching the final market cap milestone of over $650 billion. As you will see, this compensation plan was closely linked to financial measures like revenue and adjusted E, showed a dedication to both financial success and market cap growth. In 2018, Elon Musk's compensation plan wasn't easy. It included mandatory market capitalization milestones. In simple words, Musk could only get paid if Tesla's market value went up a lot, which it did. Tesla's stock went up more than 10 times, reaching a final market cap of a big step toward over $650 billion. It's clear that this plan was designed to reward performance and benefit Tesla's shareholders, but let's not forget it wasn't just about market cap. There were but here's the catch. 
This new arrangement could tie Musk to Tesla's helm till 2030. Can you imagine what that could mean for the company's future as we talk about this development? Legal experts who know how to navigate the complicated web of corporate laws and rules are closely looking into the situation. One of them is a well-known law professor and expert in the field who brings up the interesting idea that Tesla might need to completely change how it pays its employees. Of course, you've heard that right. A total change in how Tesla pays its top executives if there is a change. It won't just be a matter of rearranging numbers. It could be a turning point that changes the relationship between corporate leadership and pay. It makes us question the very foundations on which executive rewards are based, calling for a new perspective on what makes a fair and equitable compensation plan. The judge in question has previously raised concerns about Tesla's corporate governance and played a part in convincing Musk to go through with his Twitter purchase. He has a Bachelor of Arts degree in philosophy from Harvard, which is quite an academic background, wouldn't you say? Musk, who isn't afraid to voice his opinions, posted a couple of questions on X should Tesla consider changing its state of incorporation to Texas, which is home to its physical headquarters. This move could potentially shield Tesla from judges like McCormick, at least to some extent. Do you think that shareholders, like most of you watching, should have the final say on important issues like this? Remember that Musk's 2018 compensation plan was overwhelmingly supported by Tesla shareholders. On the other hand, do you think that judges, even if they're seen as controversial, should be able to overturn decisions made by shareholders in favor of the plan? Tell us what you think in the comments, but wait, there's more. Let's talk about how brave this judge's choice was. Some say this might not be as big of a deal as it seems. It's being called outright corruption, but it's important to remember that Musk could win on appeal. Also, this setback could give the Tesla board a chance to come back with a revised compensation plan that shareholders can vote on again. This could even give Musk more control, which is something he's been trying to get. For example, imagine a judge deciding on their own to lower the value of a piece of property by billions of dollars, even though there is evidence to the contrary. Sounds crazy, right? Gary Black, who has been talking a lot about this, gives a glimmer of hope. Black suggests a possible way forward that could change the course of events. He says that the Tesla board can go back and change the compensation plan, but this time with a strategic twist. The key is to include specific language in the plan that directly addresses the concerns made by the judge in the case, Kathleen Street Jude McCormack. This move could be the game changer that restores trust among shareholders. The idea behind this is that if the board proactively acknowledged and accommodated the judge's concerns, it could set the stage for a huge show of support from Tesla's owners. It's an interesting idea that depends on how important truth and openness are in business decisions. Adding to that, black people want to look to the future. He says Elon Musk should step back and let the compensation group and the board make his CEO compensation plan on their own and with his help. With this change, the focus is more on corporate governance, making sure that Musk's services to Tesla are judged fairly and objectively. Let us take a moment to think about how important these ideas are. Not only are they going to have to change some paperwork or write up new agreements, but this could be a turning point in how Tesla balances top pay and shareholder interests. Black's idea to show how important it is to match the rewards for corporate leaders with the bigger goals of the business and its clients right now after this shocking news, here's the catch. As of now, Tesla's stock is down 2.55% after hours. This is a quick and sharp response that has rippled through the financial markets and brings up important questions. As we've been looking into, the sudden drop in Tesla's stock price was caused by a decision made by activist judge Kathleen Street Jude McCormack. Some say that she champions the cause of protecting Tesla's shareholders, presenting herself as a guardian of their interests. But here's where things get really confusing. While some say that she's protecting the interests of Tesla's stakeholders, others say that her decisions may have caused huge financial damage, possibly to the tune of $15.3 billion. It's a classic case of a double-edged sword where good intentions have unexpected results. Elon Musk's $55 billion 2018 compensation plan was thrown into question by a judge's decision, which caused Tesla's stock to